Hi, we are live. Hello. Hey, Peggy. I just realized we had a bit of a Hi, rough start Ella. there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We got this. We got this. All right. So thank you for those who are watching. Um, Peggy is a fantastic illustrator, and we're doing this pilot. It's a pilot for a new show that we are thinking of producing for Film Kick, but it has had its challenges. So this is pilot number two yep. because the first one was, you know, fun. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're doing differently One this time. please. Yeah, we, so a lot of things went wrong um, the first time because, not wrong, not wrong, like not great. And so Peggy and I, we don't give up. We're like, we're going to do this again. We're going to take what we learn and we're going to make it better. And one of the things that we decided was going to make it better is to pre-record the drawing part, right? So that's exactly what Peggy did. So Peggy drew herself, or she took a time lapse, a screen recording, and already her internet is not working. Peggy! This is one of the things that happened last time as well, and we thought that we fixed that. Um, all right, there you are. Apparently okay. Not. Apparently not. Okay, can you hear me? I okay. can't. That's oh, good. Shoot. Okay, all right. Well, then, this is what we're going to do differently this time. She recorded herself. She's frozen again. It's okay, I'm talking. So she recorded herself drawing this really cool scene, and that is what we're going to replay. We just sh shrunk it down to just 15 minutes, and then we're going to talk about the process while we watch the video. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show the video, and when her feed is, is good, I'll bring her back on. And in the meantime, this is the drawing that we're going to be discussing today. And this is what Peggy worked on. And she dropped, Peggy dropped. Um, so what we're looking at here is um, we have these friends and they have this um, company in in Europe and they do events. They do live DJ events and they produce stuff. So obviously they can't go to the the clubs anymore and make their events there. So they are now doing live events online. And one of the things that they're doing is they're actually patching people in on Zoom. So they have the DJ is playing and they're live streaming that, but then they're also tapping in um, people that are like dancing and a part of the experience that way. So we made this illustration for them as part of a graphics package that we're working on for their live events. And she is, this is Peggy, drawing what's basically a DJ, a music producer, um, producing music. And everybody that's on the Zoom call partying with them. And so basically what's going to happen when Peggy joins me because I did not draw this. I did not draw this. I am not currently drawing this. Um, she is going to tell us how she did it, how she drew, how she drew it, what kind of, how she handles her layers. And that was a really interesting part of the conversation last time where she really told us like the different brushes that she uses and how she makes masks and she, certain decisions that she makes in Photoshop when she's painting this, which was actually really exciting. Um, and I believe that she is back and, oh, yes. Yeah. All okay, right. Browser. This hopeful, hopefully this one will work better. Awesome. Oh. So I was just saying okay. that I didn't draw this, you drew this. And then I was explaining how this was a part mm -hmm. of, um, uh, um, the creative, uh, for the graphics package for Mirage and yeah. This is a Zoom party. And so tell me, yeah. have you been having any Zoom parties recently? Actually, um, I've been watching a lot of Zoom party videos, but I haven't actually participated in one because I, I feel I'm too antisocial. 
<laughs> anything like that. I was like, I'm busy enough. So I was like, okay, I would just. But I've li been listening to a lot like a cappella group doing like their, you know, Zoom party or like Zoom concert. So yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's why it's pretty cute too. Yeah. So tell me, what are you doing here? What are the decisions that you're making as you're drawing this? Um, I need to make sure people know what they are doing. So I have to actually push their dance move a lot more, like make it more obvious. Because if right. I just do something like this, nobody's going to understand what they are doing. So I was like, okay, push more, push more. And then also I was trying to listen to some happy music when I was doing this. So yeah. And then I also do a lot of research on like how people, how it looks like in from the screenshot. Yeah. So I was like, okay, it's pretty cool. I'll do this, do that. And make them all appear like really happy and enjoy it. Because, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I, I think that's really cool. So we, Thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've been seeing just how these different um, Zoom parties are happening around the world. And it's really exciting because I mm -hmm. can't, you know, you can listen to a DJ that's in, you know, England and yeah. dance with him. Yeah. And it's probably like two in the afternoon or whatever here. And it's kind of nice because yeah. you can like cook and listen to your favorite DJ. Yeah. Have you so seen then, that, um, uh -huh. wait, oh no, I was just saying that, have you seen that Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber, they make a new music video, it's basically like made it with all different like Zoom party film, like video clip, it's pretty oh, cute. Oh wow, that is cool. Yeah, I should watch it later. I'll watch it, it would be um, in the vein of what we're doing today. So mm -hmm. tell me about the color palette, yeah. are you thinking about the color palette before you do it or do you just start using the colors that you feel like you want to use? Hmm. I kind of have a idea in mind like I want something that's like kind of give a nightclub feeling and mm -hmm. also like more neon color. I don't know if I achieve that. I use a lot of purple. The first thing I think is like purple. Yeah. Because yeah. I wa I saw because I, I was like scrolling through all the zoom parties um, reference pictures and a lot of them have, have kind of like a What's that called? Like it looks kind of blurry from the screen, and they yeah. kind of give like, like you know, like blueish, purplish color. Oh, yeah, something like that. Something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I see that a lot in the oh, parties. Yeah. So then, it yeah, just so gives I was like, okay. Color. Yeah, and I love purple, so I like it. I like that so much. And so, when you make those shapes, what tool were you using to make the shape of the hair? Uh, wait, we. Do you have like a specific one you want me to go through or? Ooh, I like um, what's happening right now. Wait, t talk, tell me what's happening right here. Oh, right here? So I was like, okay, let's give it, like her some kind of like disco, what's that, like disco effect going on. And I was like, okay, oh wow, I do that? Wow, okay. Anyway, yeah, so I just I want to try like different vivid, like neon-ish color to make it look like she's like, enjoying herself. And yeah. What was I, I thinking like about? Hmm. What? What did you do wrong? <laughs> I don't know. Like, well, sometimes I, when I'm painting, I kind of goes to like, what's that called? Like a sixth sense. I was like, okay, I think this will look good here. And then, it's like, this is not always like a particular reason why I do certain things. But yeah, just like, what makes sense for me at that point? And then I would like, kind of goes through my mental library like okay this one looks makes this one will make sense over here yeah it I like things. that I like that and then one of my one of my comments was to remove the middle line um oh from yeah, that. yeah yeah so in our in our final drawing so that's that's removed um yeah. oh this is so cool well so here for example you are when we looked at all the reference images mm -hmm. those tables I don't know what they're called turntable DJ things, they are yeah. um, really complicated. And so you simplified mm -hmm. it. How do you choose like what to simplify, like what to, what to, how, mm. how do you do that? Because I wouldn't know. Yeah, it took me like a, a while and I also had to do some research. So what I did was like, I took the most important shape, like from, because I each, I, I realized that each turntable, they, they all look like very similar, but they all kind of like still kind of different. So I took a little main element, like, okay, there must be like some, 
the bottom they must be there and then these things must be here and it must be on the like right position so i just take like the little element that looks correct to me and works and yeah and also i also check out some like on um, dj video to see like how they do certain things so yeah just and also a lot of part is like crop sales like, okay i only need to make sure this important element is right here and like in in the tiny box then everything is good so, yeah yeah you know imagine doing what you do without the internet because mm -hmm. right now like yeah, no right you imagine oh like you have to go to the yeah. library for reference images that that's yeah, oh my God. would be crazy and that's how people yeah. were doing it you know more yeah, than 25 like, years ago yeah because i remember when i was still in school we have this one class my teacher specifically told us not to use google image and it was so hard yeah, because sometimes a lot of Google image tend to have like that like, glossy feeling. Like, it's not authentic enough. Like when you right. try to do like certain illustrations, so I have to go through a lot of books and then libraries. So it was fun though, you know, because now people are so used to like getting that information right in front of you. You know, so it's actually cool to like flip through some books and then find the things interesting. Yeah. yeah. And document your own things, right? Like just have your yeah, own camera, yeah, yeah. have your own. Um, I remember one time we were at the office and we were like, okay, we need um, a stock picture of a hand. And then we were like mm -hmm. looking for hands and hands and we we're like, no, it needs to be super simple, just a hand. And then yeah, just, at one point we realized, wait, why don't we just grab the camera and take the yeah, picture of yeah. the freaking hand right now? Yeah. But yeah. I feel like um, first hand information is always more um, reliable for, because a lot of time if you try to find information like secondary information like something you found from google you have to be really careful not to run into any copyright issues and you always have to make sure like you have eternally transfer this into your own thing instead of just like copyright from the pictures right yeah right. so it's always i always yeah so a lot of times you'll take my own reference picture, pictures too so i don't need to worry about people saying like oh did you copy someone you know right. like, i took my own pictures <laughs> yeah that type of thing Hey, so this last scene, I really enjoyed how you um, just changed the colors so quickly. Like it all, you made it from like day to night, um, very very. Quickly. Oh, this one. Okay. The bottom one. So well, we. Oh. The, I can't go back. I'm not going to go back. But it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we can we can probably see it here too because. All right, walk me through it. Walk me through it real quick. So what's happening? What are you okay. doing? Uh, oh, for this one. Yeah. Um, so I was imagining she was dancing in her kitchen. And no, kind of like, what are you kind of... doing? Like, tell me, like, the, the tools that you're using. Oh, uh, over here? Yeah. Oh, the tools I was using? Okay, so I really like using the uh, lasso tool to make, like, the, to make that sharp shape. Yeah, and then, and it's also very easy for me to color, too, if I have, like, a limited space and I can just, like, press or any kind of brush in there. Yeah. So, yeah. And then... Let's see. Oh, wow. I love watching speed, like, process videos. It's so therapeutic. It makes it look so easy. I know, right? But it's not. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, so much struggle going yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it look, like, effortless. Like, wow, look at her. She's so good. She did this in 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, I'm not even close. Oh. Uh, but you're, you are so good. So, but you, wait, so then you were saying that um, you were picturing her, like, in her kitchen dancing? Yeah. Like her small kitchen, like dancing, you know, maybe she put her laptop on like a kitchen counter, you know, and just dancing with everyone. That's what I was at, what I had in mind. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's so cool. Um, I do want to say anybody that's watching, anybody that's on Twitch or, actually, ooh, I'm not looking at Facebook comments. Uh oh. Um, but I was mainly looking at Twitch and YouTube. If you have any questions oh, for good. Peggy, definitely. Uh -huh. Let me know, and I will ask her those questions. Okay. Or if you just want to tell her that she's so good, yeah. you can do that too. Ah, yeah, no, not even close. <laughs> I'm trying though. I really yeah. like it. So then, tell me what's happening here. Oh yeah, so I was thinking about these two people. They're just dancing in their garage. Oh, and then maybe they're like siblings and decide to have some fun. Yeah. I wish I could have like quarantine with my sister, but it did not happen. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> is she, where is she? 
Uh, she lives in. I mean, she she still lives nearby, but she lives with her husband now. So it's like, so it's just me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It yeah, and for this guy. Yeah, I know, right? We found it with civilians. Yeah, so for this one, it just he's using his phone, so that's why the screen is more like, like on the vertical side. He's just enjoying himself. I mean, yeah. that's how it is. Sometimes you have somebody joining in on your. Uh, on your meeting with their phone. That's what you see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like it. Thank you. So see, what her... else? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I was fixing. I was fixing her hand because I realized the way it's too short or it's too small, something like that. Ooh. And you wanted it to fit inside because I can tell she's like, like. Yeah. Also, I, yeah, because I kind of want people to be able to see her hands. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's like so boring. good. How do you do it? Yeah, I use the laser tools again. It's so fun to use it. Ah. So why do you use the lasso tool? Uh, it's like, um, first of all, it saves time. <laughs> like you say, you save, it just makes me more efficient. And then secondly, it kind of creates that interesting shape. Like I could never do just by like my hand. So this is fun thing about Photoshop. You can try a lot of things you cannot do in um, traditional artwork yeah but i have to be very careful like not to let myself get away with it <laughs> oops what do you mean get away with uh, it this supposed to be a shadow uh like um like i try not to call it pick because <laughs> when you're doing that uh original art you know like gouache painting or watercolor you cannot just pick random color and then it becomes like color you want yeah you have to actually mix it and everything yeah, so I try not to do that, especially when I'm doing like photo studies. Like I try not to copy the, try not to color pick the color from photos. So yeah. then how are you getting your colors? Or You're like, just... just like, I, you know, like, okay, I think this is the shade that hopefully I didn't get wrong. You know, just like trying to like training myself. Nice. Look through like, okay, this color is this. Yeah. So you're using yeah, your, okay. your color yeah. bar there. You're like, you're just going through your. Yeah. Ah, yeah, interesting. Well, I mean, that makes sense because if yeah. you stay kind of like in a similar space, you know that the tone of the color is going to be more or less yeah, the same. Yeah. And you can always change it from yeah. like purple to yellow, but it's around the same value yeah. in terms of its darkness. Mm -hmm. That's so yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Photoshop is a lot more forgiving, you know. Yes. There's a lot of happy little accidents. Yeah, you can do. Happy little it's accident. Always easy to do. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. the Bob Ross reference. I think that's great. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's wonderful. So then yeah. this guy's in, he has green hair, purple. Um, I mean, he's straight up from the 90s. I think that we have a time traveler oh, yeah. in our hands. Yeah. Or maybe it's the future. Who knows? Yeah. This is really cool. Oh, I see. Hmm. oh thank you. Yeah. So Peggy, what are the kind of things that you, okay, what are you doing here? What's this? Oh, so I was try, trying to apply some kind of uh, screen texture on top. So mm. to make it look more like it's from like a computer screen or something like that. Oh, wow. Are we done with the video? Oh, We're wow. done. I'm going to put this one up um, just so that actually let's put it alone. They don't. Let me just do this. And so this okay, is the cool. final drawing. Nice. This is what it ended up looking like. Uh -huh. And this was done by Peggy. Yeah. So good. Yes. And it got oh, it you. got received really, really well on Instagram, which is great. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Good to know. Oh. Yeah. So um Peggy, that was really fun. Um mm -hmm. tell me, let me add our, our lower third that we spent so much time on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, that's it. Oh, nice. It's, yeah, it's there we very go. anticlimactic. But um, <laughs> so, any other? Top, I don't know. I don't, how do we wrap this? So we just did this thing. We showed me mm -hmm. this um, the the drawing. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite tool in Photoshop? Huh. Oh my god, I really like the uh, the adjustment layers. So what you can do with this, like you can draw some kind of a shadow or like bring some kind of light without affecting uh, what's what you drew like underneath, you know, you wouldn't affect the color you did before, you know, and just it right. saved my light during my 
my school year, you know, it saves a lot of time to just like spend, because I used to spend a lot of time just painting shadow and make sure like the, the color doesn't mix with the local color. I don't know, can yeah. people understand this? But yeah, yeah. anyway, so you just, yes. you just saved my life. <laughs> yeah, so I really like the ad adjustment layers and yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> that's awesome. And different, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can, I can, I mean, I can get down with adjustment layers too, even in Premiere mm -hmm. when you're doing a, a grade on some, mm -hmm. on something, you could affect the image, like the image itself, but mm -hmm. then if you have all these different clips, you have to copy and paste the same yeah. effect to all the different clips, where if you just oh. do it nicely on that adjustment layer, yeah. mm, and you can it's layer so your time. adjustment layers, you don't have to do it all in one, mm -hmm. you can turn on one and off, mm -hmm. uh, on and off and see if you like it. That's cool. Yeah. I can see the, I can see the application of that. All right. So mm -hmm. Peggy, tell me something interesting about you as an illustrator. What kind of things do you what what kind of things do you find in just interesting when you are illustrating? How about that? Huh. I'm trying to think. Um, inter wait, interesting things about me or oh, okay. I know. I Let ask you both uh, questions. I completely screwed that up. Um I like, I think uh, interesting about me as an illustrator is that I don't have a particular style. Like I never really stick to one thing. I like drawing, like right now I've been trying to draw like more realistic. I, I don't know, I kind of want to ap approach this video game concept art style, which I'm still like working on. Yeah, but usually I like doing like really cute stuff, like simplified um, character design. I like that too. And my goal is to make my Instagram feed looks like it has many different artists, but it's just me. <laughs> so, like yeah, so that. I think it's I think it's interesting things about me. Yeah, and wait, what's the other question? It's then what do you find interesting to draw? Oh, uh, interesting to draw, huh? I really enjoy doing um, landscape, you know, like um, particularly like architecture. I really like doing like city city landscapes. Yeah, so it's really fun. And I also really like drawing, um, I also really enjoy drawing clothes, you know, like oh, just a yeah. texture. And also I enjoy drawing like females because I like drawing girls, you know, it just, it just makes, it put me into a good mood, you know, to draw like pretty women. Just like, oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So those are the things that I enjoy drawing. But recently I've been really like, like drawing cats, but yeah, that's it. Cats? I hear that cats are big on the internet. I hear. Yeah, oh my God. Hey, oh, yeah. so I, if, I do notice that. It's like whenever I show cats, like, ugh. Cats are a thing. Yep. Yep. They've been a thing, I think, yeah. since the beginning well, of the internet. Should... I was going to ask yep. you. Yeah, it's a thing. It's mm -hmm. like, it'll always be a thing. Um, but what mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you is if you were to give advice to your 12 year old self about being oh. an illustrator, what would that advice be? Um. Hmm, that's a lot. 12 years old. What was I doing when I was 12? Anything is possible. <laughs> so cliche. But uh, I do believe in like working hard. I believe in working hard, but I feel like um, the younger me wouldn't know that even a lot of times, even if you work hard, the... Hello? Uh, I'm still here. Me? I'm still here. Yes, okay, yes, cool. yes. Yeah, because I, I didn't see your screen, so I was like, oh my god. No, we're yeah, just in so, here. Okay, good. I'm paranoid. Yeah. So <laughs> I believe in working hard, but I do think a lot of time we need to know that um, a lot of time it's not only about working hard. It's also about like um, the timing, the people you meet, and you know, like all sort of element. Because when I was younger, I believed that, oh, if you work hard enough, you can get anything you want. That type of thing. But after I graduated from college, I realized, no, I don't. <laughs> Like a lot of times, even if you work really, really hard, you have to be patient and you have to wait. The yes. kind of thing. So I feel like when I was young, I would tell my 12 years old, so you know, like work hard, but don't, 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 don't believe that, okay, you're gonna get this because you work hard, you know, just have to be patient and then be kind to yourself. Yeah. Does that make sense? I don't know. That totally makes ah. sense. I like that. I mean, sometimes yeah. it's about being in the right place at the right time. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Knowing the right people. And yeah. Yeah, you work hard and that yeah. doesn't necessarily equal success. Yeah, it's a lot <laughs> of fun. Yeah, I do realize it's kind of sad whenever I think about it. But yeah, it's a it's lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel bad whenever I I say this to people, but I just like, oh, well, I don't know. I mean, but it's yeah. your truth, and I I think that it is true. I think that you're right. Yeah. Sometimes the person that gets the role or the job is not the best person or the person that worked the hardest.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I do、so. notice like a lot of time people have this mentality like, okay, if you don't get this, this means you don't work hard enough, which is like totally not true. You know, it、right. just it's just like your time haven't come yet. Exactly. Yeah. So I was. Which people at, know that?、Oh. <laughs> I love that, Peggy.、Um, I wasn't、okay. looking at Facebook, and but we do have a few questions from Facebook comments, and the、okay. questions are, how long have you been doing this? Huh? Like drawing or just illustrator in general? Let's okay, say drawing. Illustrator. Okay. Illustrator. I've been、whatever. drawing since. Okay. Because I've been drawing since I was three three years old. Yeah. So, wow. So, but I've been a like professional. Professional illustrator、um, for like almost a year now because I graduated in May last year. Yeah, so I've been doing like freelance and working for Film Kick. Yeah, yeah. So I've been <laughs> I've been doing that, but yeah, I'm, I'm still very like a I'm still pretty much like a beginner. You know, I only have like a one year of experience working like professional industry.、But、yeah, I've been drawing since I was three. So, That's awesome.、Yeah. I mean, it's been quite a.、Okay. It's been at least the last six months we've been working together for, I think more than yeah, six months. Yeah, I think we almost a year now. Almost yeah, a year now. Yeah, because I was in. I started working. July or June.、September? July, <laughs> August. <laughs> well, whatever. No, I it's been August. a while. I think it was the end of August or something like that. I I forgot. <laughs> And it's been a lot of work. I mean, she's been doing some killer work for one of our clients、oh, that、you. is mostly animation, and she's not an animator、mm -hmm. yet. We're turning her、Show、into one. <laughs> really, you're gonna do、uh, it like actually, this? Actually, I think it's good because before I yeah yeah because before I actually wanting to be an illustrator, I was hoping I could be like a two D animator. Yeah, that's awesome. So. It's perfect for me, you know. Like, yes,、yeah, you'll get to do a little bit of a yeah. So it's like I still get to do a little bit of animation, but I can do illustration too. Yeah. So it, it works out, and I I love it. Yeah, I'm trying to do my own little animation too. Yeah. I really like it, and I. But Caleb did most of the animation.、Though. Caleb does do most of the animation, yes, but、um, yeah. he yeah, is also even telling you, yeah, Caleb. I mean, Caleb's so good. Um, but he's telling you like how to cut cut up the layers so that he can you know animate them differently、mm -hmm. and you know I think that you guys make、yeah. a fantastic team and you don't have to do it all but、yeah. having a little bit of knowledge in certain air and more areas definitely makes you a more valuable、um, person to work with. Okay, here's、oh, the、thanks. other question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. The other question、okay. was、um, she said that she loves her colors. This is Anita Diaz and. <laughs> She asked, "What inspired you to take this direction? Like, what inspired you to、um, become an illustrator?" I think I'm paraphrasing. Oh, become an illustrator. Okay, okay. Let me think. I think the why I want to become an illustrator is because this is the only thing I'm good at. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, like I was like, cause cause I um maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, I feel like drawing is the drawing was like the only thing I could do. So I was like, okay. I'm gonna do it, and I love it too. So it work, it works out fine. Yeah, so it's the only thing I really want to do. But for a while, I want to be a lawyer. But but、oh. yeah, a long time ago, like when I was in middle school, you know, because I'm all about like justice. Yeah, but <laughs> but in the end, I was like, nah, <laughs> I want to be an artist. <laughs> yeah, so sorry,、oh, mom. <laughs> She's like, darn it. She'll、yeah. live with us forever. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Maybe that happened, but yeah. I mean, everything turns out fine so far. So so far, so good, and your future is、yeah. bright because you're incredibly awesome and fun,、oh, and you. you're super talented. And with that, I think that we should just say goodbye. Thank you so much、okay. for your time. Thank you for doing this with、Thank、me、you. for running the pilot. Thank you to everybody、okay. that's watching. We have quite a few people watching everywhere, so that's. Okay, that's cool. cool. That's it's、good. like a handful in different channels that that turns into <laughs> a bigger handful. <laughs>、okay. So thank you so much. And、okay. yeah, please leave us feedback and let us know if you like the episode. If you feel like maybe we can change anything about it just to make it a little bit more interesting or dynamic, or if you want the one with the curly hair to shut up more, you can also say that too. So、okay. good night. Bye. Bye. How do I do it? Yeah.